Three gunmen who crossed into Israel from Lebanon and two Israelis were killed in clashes and a strike along the frontier between the two countries, the army and medic said. Since the war between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip erupted on October 7, the Israel-Lebanon border has seen near-daily exchanges of fire between Hezbollah militants and Israeli forces. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, in a televised speech, said the Israelis had failed to achieve any of its goals in Gaza. In this battle, after 100 days, it's not me or you saying the following, but the Israelis, officials, military leaders, politicians, commentators, analysts, media, and writers, they all state that after 100 days, Israel is drowning in failure not just seemingly failing but completely submerged in failure, he added. The Israeli military said troops patrolling a contested border area identified a cell who crossed from Lebanon into Israel territory and fired at the forces overnight. A group calling itself Kitab al-Az al-Islamiyah later said the fighters were from its ranks, Lebanese media reported. The group said the assault was in response to the killing of Hamas Deputy Chief Salah al aruri in a suburb of Beirut on January 2, in an attack which was widely attributed to an Israeli drone strike. The Israeli military said warplanes struck Hezbollah positions following a missile strike on a house in the border community of Kfar Yuval that wounded multiple Israelis. Violence on the border since October 7 has killed 190 people in Lebanon including more than 140 Hezbollah fighters and over 20 civilians, including three journalists.